Alright, so this is what I want you to do. We've already done this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna break it down. I'm, I'm gonna have Joe do it real quick. I want you to get to your leg ride, I want you to get to your back hook and your wing, and I want you to flatten them out, and then I want you to either go to your left or your right with your bar in half. Alright? So jam forward, leg in. He's gonna scoop that arm like we've been doing. He's gonna pull it in, flatten the guy out, he's gonna get to his wing here. He's just gonna thread straight to his wing. Now instead of going under the chin to the pec and getting the tilt, we're just gonna get a half. But the way we get the half here is gonna be a little bit different. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you to get your chest low, and I want you to walk your fingers out as far as you can. See how it's starting to kind of stretch and hyperextend his shoulder? Now when we get that, that deep, that stretched out, we're gonna knife our half. So he's just gonna, everybody make a sword with your hands. That's how we're going to run our half. My wrist is like 20 times stronger, do this direction, than palm down. All right, Gene Mills was probably, I thought about Lee Chalice being a prolific pinner. Gene Mills, in my opinion, was the best pinner of all time. Like that guy was just running halves at Tbilisi, which at the time, or, or back then, oh, you're just, just destroying this thing. Go ahead and knife your half. Good. Now we can either roll through or we can drive. Okay, he can drive and stack them up right there, the way we've been working our, our shove, right? And just put him on his back and stack them up, or he can roll to come back to come back flat. He can roll to the half side and stack them up that way. He can roll, pull him through, punch the mat, straddle, good flow, scoop that bottom leg, stack them up. What I was thinking about Gene Mills, there was a tournament called Tbilisi. It was a freestyle tournament, but back then, Soviet Union, right? Which is what is Russia now, or Russia Interfederation, or whatever. They only could take one guy to the World Championships in the Olympics. We know how big Russia is. It's gigantic, right? But Tbilisi, all the good Russians went to. All the good foreigners went to. So it, Tbilisi was the toughest tournament. Not the World Championships, not the Olympics. Gene Mills, New York guy, was wrestling at Syracuse at the time, was just pinning people with a half, like the best people on the planet. And you don't run halves in freestyle. Like the dude was an absolute savage. Like, but he, his high half series, how are you? It's high half series. I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but when he get the head down and knife the half, he'll be running his chest up way high, right here. Notice how the elbows behind the ear. Everybody, put your elbows behind your ears as far as you can. Really make it sting a little bit. Feel how weak you are. That's when we run that half, right there. Feel how that elbows away behind the ear, as opposed to running it clamp down as opposed to running a palm down half right here. When I knife my half, fight it a little bit. When I knife my half right here, scoop, see how I get my chest high? That's easy to take that guy over. So anytime we're running a half, boom, give him the knife, all right? Then when they start going and get to 90, you can adjust, all right? But get that hook, flatten them out, we're gonna go bar half. You can run them to the head or roll them through. We're just getting back to common positions. Go! Then we'll do it from their base here in a second. 